So, um, I'm going to go over a couple of air tools. We also have these, uh, I mean, there's also a version of this, I know this looks beat up, um, electric. Um, we have a school, but we have a bunch of air ones um, that are in better shape than mine. Um, so what we have here is a die grinder or straight grinder, straight grinder because it's in line. We also have a smaller, some of those, um, the larger angle, electric angle grinders we looked at, we also have a smaller version of that in air, um, so more gentler, and we can put smaller discs on it like this, little sanding discs. We can even, this is an aggressive kind of, it's like 36, um, and this is kind of a scotch bright um, surfacing thing that can be nice for blending in wells and stuff like that. Um, the die grinder, op, both of these operate by air, and we've talked about this before, this pulls back, these slide together in your release. So it's not screwing on, you gotta push them together and release this outer once more for release, okay? Um, anyway, so it's using the air pressure or pneumatics um, to, to um, run it. So some different types of burrs or bits or however you wanna call them, you can use in that. A lot of these you come, might come across, um, these are in a bonded abrasive, um, these will wear down. They're not terribly aggressive, they can be good for smoothing, um, and, but they will kind of wear down over time fairly quickly. Good for smoothing. Um, also a cartridge wheel um, that goes onto a mandrel. Screws on there. And that's sanding paper that's kind of been glued into this roll, cartridge roll, um, that can use. And you want to run these at a slower speed. You don't, you know, the air die grinders, um, you want to kind of have them go a little slower with these because you'll end up destroying them fairly quickly. Um, the other type of burr you're going to come across our tungsten carbide burrs and you got kind of three different types there's a single cut here and a double cut a little larger um, these are fairly aggressive and then there's sort of a very open i forget what they call this it's a single cut but it's very open these are good for aluminum and softer metals they're easier to unclog um, if you use these with steel or bronze they work pretty well aluminum they tend to start to get clogged up because it's softer and what you can do is spray a little bit of WD-40 on the bit and on the metal where you're grinding on the um, aluminum, and it'll help keep it from clogging. But if you notice it clogging, stop and kind of clean it up with a small uh, needle tool, because um, otherwise it'll just get completely embedded. Same thing with grinding discs. You'll end up kind of becoming embedded with stuff if you use aluminum on them. So it tends to clog things up, aluminum does. All right, so actually I'm gonna go with my electric one for the die grinder, but I just wanna show you, um, maybe we looked over in this wood one, you want to use the right size wrenches. So there's a wrench that fits there on that one. And some of our ones at school have a similar setup um, and a counterclockwise delusion. And unlike a drill chuck, Jacob's chuck, this has a little collet inside that crimps when I slide this in and tighten down on it. All right, so. And you don't need to over tighten it. Just snug it up so it's good and tight. If it's got to come loose, you need a little tighter, but don't wrench it. And what also you don't want to do is if there's no shank thing in there, don't tighten it down because you'll crimp that little collet too far. Um, this electric one, we're going to put a bit in. And these are good. So the reason why you might want to utilize these is these are good for getting into tight little areas. Um, this guy on here. And again, this is unplugged while I'm doing this. This is a little electric one. We have one at school that's electric that's red. This is blue, so you might notice some differences. There are also smaller little burrs that you can use, little tungsten burrs, uh, that you can utilize with um, smaller kind of grinding tools, like a Dremel or a flexible shaft, or some of our air tools at, home, at uh, school have a little um, collet that you can, um, we have some smaller, tinier air tools that you can use with these smaller bits to get into even tinier areas, all right? So the die grinder, we can come in and this is going to want to, it's going to rotate that way. You can kind of see an arrow there and it'll want to catch, if you catch it to an edge, it can catch and kind of slide over. So you want to be in control of it. You want to kind of be, um, you know, working against the direction. So if it wants to walk that way, you sort of should work this way so it doesn't just come, you know, take off on its own. And I kind of hold it like this so I can keep it stable. Again, never handhold something with one of these. So, 
fucking grinding. Just like your dentist. So with the air tool here, the angled air tool, um, we can put a little drop of oil into this tool each time when we go to use it. And if you're using it for a long period of time, you might want to do that again. Again, remember, just pull this back, push that, release. And when you're doing that, when I'm doing that, I don't want my hand on that, okay? You want to have your hand off the trigger. So this has 180 grit uh, disc on it. A little gentler than the grinding discs. Thank you. 